hi everyone and welcome back to another video this is going to be a reveal i didn't do an unboxing on this video because it's something that i've wanted for a very long time and it was a little bit personal to me and that's why i didn't do an unboxing and as you will see in the title you will know it is in fact a chanel reveal this is the box that it came in this is the paper that it was packed in as well as you just saw the camellia flower on the front of the box as well which came with the chanel ribbon as well as the two um, books that it normally comes with. Obviously, this is the one that explains how it is made. So it is basically the book list in a million different languages. As well as the care card, as well as the textile cloth that you dust the bag over with. Here is the proof of purchase. I have my receipt here as well. Um, I got this from the Chanel boutique in Selfridges in Manchester. I've had this item for a very, very long time. This is the dust bag that all of these types of bags come with and obviously by anyone who will have seen these type of videos before um you will know by the dust bag that it is a classic piece so let's have a look it also has the classic prints of chanel herself on the front of the dust bag and yes i got a chanel jumbo this is the jumbo size. This comes in, I think it's four different sizes. It comes in the small, the medium large, the jumbo, which is this size, and the maxi size. There are two smaller sizes as well, which are the mini and the mini rectangular. But I've always wanted the jumbo. So I went ahead and I got the jumbo. As you can see, it has the silver hardware on as well i got this before the price increase so i was quite lucky um it is the classic double flap with the chanel written on the inside as well it has the burgundy the classic burgundy hardware I have a liner as well as a pillow on the inside, both from Handbag Angels. As anyone who watches my reveal videos, my unboxing videos, you will know that all of my handbag liners come from the company Handbag Angels, which is based in Nelson up north. So this is the liner for the bag by Handbag Angels. It is basically a basic bog standard liner with um, wall pockets. So basically they're all flush to the wall. So I wanted something that wasn't too bulky because everyone knows when you buy a handbag organizer, they can have all of like the middle compartments and all that sort of crap. And those bag organizers are just no good because you're just gonna lose the space basically. This is the pillow that I got from Handbag Angels as well. And it has the heart detail on the front. If anyone who is interested in the organiser or the pillow, I will leave links down below. So everyone who wants them can just go straight to the website. These are quite decent quality felt organisers. And they are also cheap as well so it's not like smog or organizer where you're paying through the nose for something that you're gonna have to wait for for about three weeks you get these within like two to three days they're that good so this is the bag unfortunately i can't give measurements because i wasn't actually planning to do like 
a review on this bag or anything. It has the pocket on the back, which is the Mona Lisa smile. This is in the caviar leather. It is not in the lambskin because obviously for a bag this size, I think the lambskin would be better suited to the smaller versions of this bag, not the medium large, um, the smaller versions because obviously it's the kind of bag that you use a lot so you don't really want to get it damaged and with what i've heard about lambskin it's easily damageable so it's why i went for the caviar as well because it's more hard wearing um it has the turn lock on the front as i just showed you before the double flap the um pocket here as well which you can't fit anything in um, again, the burgundy lining with the Chanel logo on the front there, and I think that is made in Italy. Yes, it is made in Italy. Um, it has, at the front, as everyone will know, it has a pocket back here, which you can fit things in. I don't use it personally because I don't really feel the need to use it. Um, the inside, it has two pockets there and a little lipstick holder there, which does fit a lipstick, by the way. Um, and then it has this front compartment here as well. Obviously, the inside of the bag is lined with leather. Um, the burgundy lining is leather. That's why I have and organize on the inside. Um, this flap, it has a button on it. It doesn't close. It doesn't close. It's too much of a faff. And I've actually just noticed now it has left a little indentation like right there, which you can just about see. Um, I didn't notice that before. The only thing that I could suggest that Chanel could have changed, the fact that there's a button there, they could probably do away with the button because it's irrelevant having it there based on the fact that you can't actually close it. I have to be quite forceful and it has left like an indentation here as well. So that is now closed, which I'll be storing it that way. When I got this bag, like I said, it was before the price increase. This is something that I've wanted for a very long time. And I saved and saved and saved. And then I was able to get it. So I went ahead and I got it. And I'm glad I did get it when I did. Because obviously a few months later, there was a price increase because of the coronavirus. Um, it has softened. The bag has softened up quite a bit since I have purchased it. Um, I've had this for a good few months now and it is in, apart from that little dent on the inside, it is actually in pretty good condition. Um, I'm gonna be honest, when I first got this bag, I didn't, <sighs> I didn't gravitate towards it. Actually, I was a little bit scared to use it and it wasn't because of the price either it was based on the fact that i just i didn't take to it as well as i thought i was going to take to it because of the size and obviously the shoulder strap on it as well is quite it's it's quite long as you can see it's a long strap and as everyone says it hangs way below your hip and because i am very petite um, it hangs way below my hip, so I wouldn't be able to use it as a crossbody unless I did the little adjustments that people have seen, you've seen people do where they tie it with like a ribbon on the inside and they shorten it. So like one of these comes, creates like a little handle type thing. Um, yes, that is the reveal of the item. Um, would I purchase this item again? I'm going to be honest, no, I don't think I would. Um, I have one. I don't need another one. Um, the smaller size, the medium to large, is definitely something that is more useful than this one. Obviously, as everyone says, this has a lot of weight behind it. So it does make your shoulder hurt when you're carrying it. Um, but again, it depends what you've got in it. I have downsized recently, so I'm currently using a very smaller 
bag i'm using the palm springs mini at the moment and that's just getting everything that i need in um so yes this is the bag um a few other things that i wanted to mention as well reasons i get indentations from this bag as well is purely based on the fact of the way that i store it um i store it with the pillow on the inside so that's probably one of the reasons i've got the indentation on the just above the button as well um so that's probably my own fault but obviously i will know now when i'm storing it to like button it shut so that doesn't happen again this is the item i was going to do this video a while ago but i just i just kept putting it off and putting it off and i'm glad that i've done it now because it's, i have moved on the price of this item has gone up by about i think it's about 300 pounds i'm not 100 percent sure when i purchased this item it was i think it was 5600 not 100 percent sure give me a moment yes when i purchased this it was about 5780 i think it's just under six thousand pounds now i'm not 100 percent sure you just have to look on the website um but it, there has been a price increase on this since i purchased it also i thought i would mention in this video as well i am considering selling three of my louis vuitton bags i'm considering the palm springs mm it is in immaculate condition it has never been used once the odian mm um it has been used like once or twice but i haven't really taken to it and when i got that i was thinking well practically and i i don't know there's just i don't like it that much so um i haven't really used it um again i was thinking weather wise because it has the black leather trim on it so yeah again that is in brand new condition um i am also considering but i'm not 100 percent on this for many reasons i am also considering selling my speedy 30 bandolier in the demi bean now that has been used quite a few times however it is in brilliant condition um i will be wanting close to retail value for all of these items um however i'm not in a rush to sell them if anyone is interested please comment below um i would be advertising them just yet because obviously i'm not in a rush to sell them and um, the reason i'm considering sell considering selling those bags is because firstly i don't get that much use out of them the palm springs mm you know it's a backpack and you can use it for things but to be honest it's not big enough to be used as an overnight bag either um and i've just never used it and at the moment i don't really have any to use it i have the never full mm so i wouldn't really need two of them if you get what i mean obviously i went for the safer option with the um palm springs because of the black leather trim again i'm thinking weather wise but at the same time i haven't used it and i haven't needed to use it since i purchased it the odeon again like i said before i was thinking weather but i haven't really used it and ever since i have bought my speedy 25 in the monogram the speedy 30 has stayed on the shelf i haven't used it and i have other bags as well that i get more use out of than those three to be perfectly honest and i'm more comfortable with them than i am with those three also the reason i'm wanting to sell them is because i am considering buying a lady dior however i don't have the money for a lady dior so i need to get the money from somewhere and all of my money is in my handbags so if i want something at this point i have to sell something to accomplish that and yes all of all three of the louis vuitton items that i am going to be 
pot listing for sale will come with the dust bags, the boxes, the receipts. Um, the Odeon, however, will only come with an email copy of the receipt that I got from Louis Vuitton based on the fact that it has another item attached to it. At the moment, um, Louis Vuitton are having a lot of defect issues and all three of these items, no matter how you say they are or how not you say they are, they are all in perfect condition. Whereas when I've bought things from Louis Vuitton in the past, I found that I've had to send them back immediately based on the fact that they are defective. So again, as everyone who watches these videos will know, all of my items are authentic. I do not deal with fakes whatsoever. Um, they are in good condition. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you've really, really enjoyed. Sorry if I seem a little bit off, but as you will be aware, I haven't filmed for a while now. And this was sort of like a little bit of a rushed video. If you want me to do an in-depth review on this bag, I have no problem doing that. Um, I can probably go into a bit more of why I purchased it as well because I didn't really touch upon that. It was more just like a quick reveal type thing. Um, all the, even though I love this bag, I don't use it that much. Um, and I think it is probably because of the size and the weight. So yes. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.